All right, we didn't go over this in class, but we're going to go over how you can use the timeline to sync your audio and video. So I'm going to have a timeline here, and I'm going to call it sync um, scene one. Okay, I'm going to pull off this first clip, and I'm going to use my patch panel to make sure that these tracks go to tracks three and four because this is just the audio. Okay, I'm going to overwrite that in there. Okay, and then I'm going to click on this first video piece and make sure that I'm not going to overwrite my other audio track I just laid in there. Okay, now I'm going to write it down there. I'm going to render that really quick because I made these settings incorrectly for my demo, so I apologize. And to get these audio waveforms up here, you need to go to this arrow and click on Show Audio Waveforms. After you have that set, you can kind of uh, take a listen, see how far on or off you might be. Okay, I know that you can't hear that, but we'll work on that for future consideration projects. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is drag this kind of over, and I can tell that I'm pretty close. So I'm going to take a listen. Okay. Okay, I can tell that it's just a bit off. So I'm going to use my less than and greater than arrows right next to the M and question mark key, and I can move these back and forth, okay, frame by frame. Okay, now I can hear a good sync in my audio. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my cursor go right over this part. I know that they're in sync, so I'm going to highlight all of them. I'm going to hit M for marker. Okay, I'm going to create a marker right there so I know where these should sync. So if they ever come out of sync, I can go, okay, well, you can line those up. If your snap is on, it should snap right to it. And now I'm going to use what's called a match frame to pull it back up into here. A match frame is different than just double clicking on it. You can tell because there's these little gray dots on here. That means it's from the timeline. So if I marked an endpoint at that marker, it would affect how it um, is represented on the timeline. So I'm going to undo that. Click on here, and the default Final Cut Pro keyboard will have your match frame as an F. Okay, so now I did a match frame. My endpoint is still here at the beginning of the clip, and our sync point is right there. So I'm going to hit I. I'm going to highlight tracks three and four. The match frame will um, do um, it will do the command for whatever track is highlighted on the timeline. If nothing's highlighted, then it will just do video track one. Okay, so I'm going to do a match frame right there. Okay, that's where it is. I'm going to hit I. I now can see that my endpoint has been affected on my browser. So I'm going to highlight this again, do a merge clip, sync endpoint, and I'm going to name this scene one take one. I'm going to go to my endpoint, and I can tell that it sounds great. So that's how you can do it using your timeline.